But then also give us like as an example what CIA is, because a lot of people perhaps don't understand that who are watching. Okay, so CIA stands for Confidentiality, Integrity and Availability. Basically, it's the mandate or the goal of every IT security team around the world to protect the confidentiality, integrity and availability of the data and the systems of your organization. So we are there to protect those things. That's why we get paychecks. And so I started teaching it in my very first or no, my second conference talk that I wrote because I would talk to software developers and say, hey, I want you to do this. And they would say, why? And they didn't understand yeah. why I was bothering them. So I started asking, has anyone seen this before? And I would show it, we usually show it as a triangle and almost no hands went up. And I was like, you know what? It turns out that security people are awesome at keeping secrets and we kind of suck at marketing. <laughs> <laughs> And so I started just telling more and more people about it because I remember someone saying, well, the CIA, and I thought, I'm a Canadian. I'm like, do they mean the Central American Intelligence <laughs> Agency? Is that like what they, the yep. spies? And everyone, no, Tanya, that's not what they mean. <laughs> You know, I don't know if you want to give choose one of those as an example. I don't want to spoil okay, the book. Okay, no, no. In the book, Ellis and Bob have stories about their lives. So they both have health conditions. They both have jobs. They both have families. And so an example of confidentiality. So in the book, Al, uh, Bob's sister gets divorced and she forgets to change some of the permissions on her picture sharing software. And then her ex-husband has copies of her pictures after they're divorced. And she is like, that's an invasion of privacy, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, you know, this is where access control can be explained as a concept and why we want to do role-based access control, et cetera. So no longer in the role of husband, does not have access to family pictures anymore. And then Bob has a health condition. He has a pacemaker and he's not concerned about confidentiality. He tells everyone, I have a smart pacemaker. I'm like, this is awesome. Technology saves my life. But for him, integrity is important. So pacemaker makes sure that your heart keeps the same pace and it doesn't do erratic rhythms that could result in a person dying. And so it makes sure he's steady all the time. But if the pacemaker if the integrity was affected, so it said basically his heart should be at a different rate, that could kill him, right? It's very, very serious. The integrity of any medical device is top of the line. So the last one, availability. So if you look at an online store, if, if something like Amazon or AliExpress or Alibaba goes down for just one minute, that's millions and millions and millions of dollars that could hurt that business. It's a huge thing. I'm not sure if you noticed, but Cloudflare, had a problem. Everyone said it was um, DNS, but it was uh, not DNS or something related to that. But anyway, Cloudflare is a content delivery network and it had a problem. And then it took down hundreds of other sites. And as a result, availability was affected by for hundreds and hundreds of organizations. And that is just, um, it's an absolute nightmare for an IT security person.